Okay, well, welcome back. This is uh, the second of three Hornady safes that I'm reviewing here. Uh, part two here is called the arm lock box. And looking at the outside here, there is this big arm that locks, hence the name arm lock box. Isn't that uh, brilliant and uh, simple marketing naming? Anywho, uh, enough of my silly commentary. Uh, this is an unboxing and initial um, uh, initial impressions review video. So uh, I've got my knife from my friends at Gerber. They cut stuff. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Comes in a great, nice sheath. I don't really need the knife, but you know, this, uh, this plastic's coming off just fine. But hey, if there's stuff that can be cut, well, let's just go ahead and cut it. All right, so. There we go, a little bit of that action, awesome. All right, put the knife down. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, ah, and similar to the other one, there's this foam piece here, just to make sure it uh, stays protected. Okay. Nothing uh, inside the box, so we're gonna put that off to the side. Another big warning label that says to read the owner's manual included with this product for safe operations. So let's put that over there. Okay, so this is, um, you know, I'm gonna bring the tri-point lock box over here really quick just because they're pretty much the same size. Uh, look at that. Um, Okay, the arm lock box is a little bit thicker, but in terms of all the other dimensions, pretty much the same, which is, uh, I guess, notable. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, here is that good old warranty information card again. Here's another set of keys. And here is the very simple owner's manual. Okay, so items include with your arm lock box are the arm lock box, two circular barrel keys, the arm lock shackle. Ah, right, the shackle, I think I saw it underneath. Ah, yeah, so it is, um, it's, it's, it's integrated into the unit. So let's see, uh, let me read here. Um, Unlock the arm lock box and lift the lid. Re lift and rotate the red knobs to hold in the unlock position. Okay, hold on, let me open this up. Okay, so lift and rotate. Okay, so on these little unlock bars or, or tabs of sorts uh, or knobs, uh, there's a H for Hornady on them and so it says to lift and then rotate and it says the H on the knob will need to be horizontal to unlock and lift. So I believe this is those little knobs unlock the arm back here. Okay, maybe I do not have them in the right position. Ah, okay, there I lifted them up. Okay, there we go. So if you um, just pull on them, there's a spring that'll pull it back down, but if you lift up and turn so the H is actually perpendicular, there we go. And so now that arm, you know, comes, well, it comes out, but you can also, right, adjust the, the length here. So if, uh, if I had like a table leg, right, I could just, you know, come swing around, uh, well, be, need to be a really heavy table, or, or let's say it's, um, um, you know, some kind of pipe or, um, you know, some kind of uh, metal bed frame uh, where you could hook it into the, uh, not the leg, but the actual frame. And so uh, you can adjust here. Once you find whatever kind of uh, distance you want, then you go ahead and drop these back down. And there you go. Right, you want to push or pull it here, that click. Let's see, what do the instructions have to say? Remove the arm lock to fix the secure. Okay, so when you do remove the, the shackle, you wanna 
secure it around an object up to three inches in diameter. Okay, then yeah, you, you, you insert the arm back and, and go ahead and lock it. Um, all right, yep, and so verify that it's secure. And then you've got your safe. And just like in the other review, I'm going to plop in my the first pistol here. It's a Glock 19 with the standard magazine. Go ahead and close that. Let me go ahead and uh, get these keys out. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, all right, that should be locked. Okay, great. So here's this in locked position. And just like the other one, I'm shaking it around. I do not feel my pistol moving around. I do hear the arm shaking around, uh, which is fine. But yeah, here's my pistol. It moved around just a little bit. It's a little bit turned, but all this foam that you've got here on the top and bottom does a pretty good job of keeping your pistol secured. Let's go ahead and uh, try a Glock 34 here. It, like I said, it's pretty much the same dimensions as the uh, the the tri-point lock box that I showed earlier. It's just a little bit a uh, little bit deeper. So expecting everything to be just dandy. All right, lock that back up. Do a little shake test again. All right, put that back down. Okay, and yeah, pistol's uh, pretty much undisturbed, so that is nice. As mentioned in the other video, this uh, the arm, the Hornady Arm Locks box is uh, TSA compliant. So if you travel a lot and uh, you know have your concealed carry gun, or uh, just want to have your gun with you in your hotel room, or um, you know whoever's home you may be visiting, uh, and you want to have um, your your gun with you when you are uh, you know flying, um, you'll need to have uh, this box in a checked luggage. And part of TSA requirements is that any firearm that you have uh, in your check baggage has to be unloaded. I'm kind of curious. I want to take the keys from the tri-point lockbox that I reviewed in, in my first video. I'm just curious to see if this works with this. Okay, it goes in, but no, no movement. Ugh. Okay, good. All right. Just uh, want to make sure it wasn't going to, you know, a different set of keys from a different safe wasn't going to open up another one, which, uh, you know, not to be expected, but just wanted to check. All right, and that does it for this unboxing of the Hornady Arm Lock Box, and hope you have enjoyed the video.